Miss Andrews, if you could, please tell us the truth about your... Ugh, oh, goddammit. <laughs> you technically said that last part, Your Honor, but yeah, welcome yes, to Honor. part 55. From the moment I saw the crime scene, I had a feeling that Matt was the murderer. Matt had to kill Juan, no matter what. And he didn't have an alibi for what he was doing at the time of the murder. My thoughts were confirmed by the evidence. Of course, the button and the knife. So yet again, a Capcom game proves us that the knife is the most deadliest weapon of all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost as deadly as a thinker. This does account for everything. Well... I am the logical type. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> but finally seeing her true self, she is more nervous than I have been a scared rabbit. If there are no objections, I feel that I can pass a verdict based on this <laughs> testimony. <laughs> now, no so eating if you please. In court. Uh, yeah. Looks like somehow everything has swung to the opposite end of the scale again. Looks like the judge is still friends with the cough-up queen. That just means I had to put my weight into this internal object upside down. Chocolate. Hmm. Yummy. Been seeing Angel <laughs> Star <laughs> lately. Happy all this time. <laughs> Hold it! Would you say that was your intuition speaking to you? Selling the wand now? Don't confuse my methods of reasoning with your own. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to prove that someone did something, you need three things. Three things? Yes, things, Mr. Wright. A motive, an opportunity to commit the crime, and finally, decisive evidence. And if you think these three things through, the answer becomes quite clear. How can you think? You should have already known that. <laughs> they didn't see us that at school. At least not more than what I remember. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> my wife is smarter than her. To be fair, Phoenix was too busy getting picked on by the kids to really pay attention. Yeah. Well, Hold it! I agree. So, would you say this need came from the press conference? Um, Mr. Wright, I don't, need to, I don't think we need to hear about her needs right now. This is a courtroom. Yes. Do you know why Juan chose that event and the hotel for the conference? Because that was where he could cause the most damage to the public's beloved Matt on guard. Hmm. I get the feeling Matt and guard. I get the feeling. Okay. I get the feeling Matt and guard needs to get laid big time. <laughs> yeah. Eh? Yes. Because this I... girl doesn't seem to be. Well, 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 well. He's he's going. He's. Putting way too much effort into screwing over the uh, Corita, honestly. Uh, um, actually, Pedro, it's Corita who's going out of his way to screw over Matt on guard. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Both of them need to get late. Well, from what we can gather, Matt on guard gets enough of that. Anyway, yeah. the important thing here is that <laughs> this information was not in your testimony. Yes, I agree. Miss Andrews, please correct your testimony if you please, or if you can. Grasping at straws now, are we, Mr. Wright? Well, you sound like Ron Disney. <laughs> <laughs> she does, doesn't she? <laughs> I wonder why. The more we go on, she's just starting to sound more and more like Ron Disney. <laughs> no, no, wonder, no wonder there's all those fanfics shipping her with her. What? I'm not joking. <laughs> oh. uh, Shiro, this is the intern you were talking about. Why are you surprised? Well, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, Never mind, yeah. I'm yeah. surprised to learn that people ship Phoenix with Maya. I'm surprised at this. Well, believe it or not, there's people who sh No, not Phoenix and Maya, sorry. Phoenix and Pearl. Uh -huh. Oh my god, that's downright... Uh -huh. Hold it! I, I, I can hear Pedro's soul screaming from here. Uh -huh. <laughs> she already testified well, earlier well, that well, Mr. Well, to be fair, to be fair if it's... Well, to be fair... Yes, Pedro? Fair one. Uh, Pedro? Yes, in the DLC case. 
I'm not telling you anything. Seven, 18, right? I don't know. I so hope so. She's 17, I think. Oh, okay. In that case, oh, I guess no. it's... Uh, yeah. No, no, it's Pearl I was talking about. Well, we'll have to wait till it's the 26. However, anyway. As to... <clears throat> as to whether he was sleeping in the... I keep trying, but I can find no flaws of what Miss Andrews has said. It is surprising, this is Miss Andrews. I can't say the same for some people here in this courtroom, however. Janet is glaring straight at Mia. Oh, titties. <laughs> <laughs> He's glaring at you, smart guy. Oh, sure is burned. My faults were confirmed by the evidence, of course. The button and the knife. You know, I can at least take pleasure in knowing that there is, uh, that the fair base sees sense to have Phoenix be shipped with someone else more than any of the younger ones. But I won't spoil that. And at the worst possible time. But I fought the but I fought the number one <laughs> ship. But I fought the number Objection. one ship in Who's to say she really stabbed the guy in the back as you put it? Yes, Pedro? But I fought, but I fought the number one ship as attorney fans do is uh, Phoenix with Edgeworth. Uh, actually, oh, thank goodness, no. no. I'm, I'm actually not getting drips. They actually do that a lot. Why? Oh, I'm not surprised. Thank goodness that's not well, the I, case. I, I, just, they, they imply, they keep saying, they keep saying, play the game. There's such a huge sexual tension between them and shit. No. Okay, no. you know, I'm yeah, just going to... can't see it. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to put a pin in this conversation that. by yeah. ending off with the topic that, no, there's actually someone else who Phoenix is shipped with more than anyone, thank the Lord. Oh, really? Objection! Oh. Judge. You know who, Pedro. This isn't the Phoenix Wright wax philosophical, philosophical power, power hour. hour. It better not be the <laughs> That show's not on until two hours from now. So, <laughs> yeah, please stop slandering the witness. I'll give you a hint, Pedro. Think trials and tribulations. Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, Shiren? Really? Because... Oh boy. Wishy-washy. I guess we'll see if I press a little more. Oh, she's burped again! You should know this by now. Uh-oh. She'll need strong, decisive, ev decisive evidence to make it. Got it, Chief. I'm going to pin you down this time, Miss Andrews. Uh... uh... Don't take that the wrong way! Is <laughs> 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 something you're not telling us? <laughs> Um, you're lucky the judge didn't hear you there, otherwise you'd have found too guilty on this. Uh, hold it! You can hardly call the knife decisive evidence. The fingerprints on the knife could very well be a clever camouflage. Uh, camouflage. Uh, uh, well, Phoenix, 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 you, 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 you Allow me to explain talk. what he means, allow me don't, to explain what he means. Don't let me start, don't let me get start up on you, asshole. Pedro, I've already had enough of this internal up big top. Pedro, <laughs> allow, me to allow me to explain what he means. When he says clever camouflage, he means that the knife could have been used to mask the actual death. You know, like, well, since, you know, I know, I know what he means, I know what he means, Joel, but he, uh, but he... About this button, correct? Yeah, you know what he means, but... That button was found in... But... Please. Please. Is that please or? Uh, I would think that makes it very Plans. decisive evidence. Urk. Yeah, Urk. Urk is about right. Looks like you were outfoxed again, Mr. Wright. <laughs> what the anyway, <laughs> the knife doesn't prove a thing. I'd like to do that, Star Fox. <laughs> please fix your testimony so I can use no. it to my advantage. I can't stand the sight of a man who can't gracefully accept his defeat. <sighs> Thank goodness Mia can still look at me. <sighs> With an icy stare, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mia, for Mr. Wright's sake, please add this information to your testimony. <laughs> please, okay, Mia, okay, Mia, what side are you on? Like... <laughs> <laughs> How long is yeah. this? How long is this cross examination gonna go on? Him. Jesus. Actually, it's gonna it's... be going for a while because it takes a long, long time for Phoenix to break her. Yeah. Adrian's one of those tougher witnesses. He's a tough nut to crack. Hmm. Well, I'll just get a hammer then. I'll crack her, then I'll be done and over. Objection! <laughs> I'll just sit here reading Harry Potter <clears throat> while you try and question me. This is the victim's autopsy okay. report. 
It clearly states that the cause of death was strangulation by a scarf. Oh. Strangulation? It means yeah, being choking, strangled asphyxiation. The knife you stab know. to the victim was done after means. the victim I had already died. And, and what does that mean? See, you're the one who doesn't know what it means. Hey, at least I have to stick to the <laughs> script here. Let's examine <laughs> the evidence. If the witness and judge will stop fighting... <clears throat> the button was ripped off and covered in blood, which means that it was ripped off of the costume when... After the knife was stabbed into the victim... Exactly! Which means... Ugh. It is impossible that the button was torn off during the victim's final struggle. Because the victim was strangled to death in that fight! What? <laughs> That's right, Miss Andrews! There is no way this button was ripped off during the struggle. <laughs> this button was consciously pulled off of the victim's already dead body! You could say he pulled it over his dead body! Ooh. Order! Order! Objection! What is the meaning of this, right? That's what I was gonna say, you prick! So what if the button was torn off of the body after the victim had already died? What does that change? Let me ask you one simple question, Mr. Edgeworth. What's 3 plus 1? Why was the button torn <laughs> off? What purpose did that serve? Mr. Wright, that's two Sheets questions. Sheets and giggles. Phoenix, I don't know. Phoenix that's two <laughs> questions. We now count, know count. this button was not torn off during the fight. We can't count, it's going to declare this trial over. <laughs> so the murderer took the time and effort to purposely rip this from the victim's body. Which All means... Right. That would mean that the murderer had something in mind, wouldn't it? He was a button collector. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, does this mean... Does this mean you know what the murder wanted to do with the button? What was it? Hmm... Well, that's 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 the crime. crime. Planted it... Planted it on someone else? To pin yeah. the crime on Mr. Ungard, there is only one logical uh, uh, reason for doing something like that. It was to pin the crime on Mr. Ungard. Hmm... There is no way anyone would put a bloody pant button in their own pants. Unless say uh, you're really into that. Well, unless he's up with some weird he has the weird yeah. fetish, but that would mean it's all the insane. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Ungard was framed. By the real killer, of course. Cha 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 cha. <laughs> and the real murderer is sorry, the real he murderer is uh, sorry, god damn it, typos! <laughs> Mr. White, who in the world is the real killer then? Who's speaking with poor grammar this time, Your Honor? It's the who, fucking script! Oh, who the well, hell you wrote didn't this? think that when I accidentally had a moment like that. But I was reading the script too, and you're calling me stupid. Yeah, but. Yeah, but at least mine was by sheer incompetence. Yours was. You're just dumb! You do realize but you it's just. The script. <laughs> Ahem. The real killer! The person who planned to frame Mr. Ungard is... Maya Faye. Me. <laughs> <laughs> it was Francisca. Yeah, let's, let's pin it on Francisca. Yeah. Huh. We're all back. Take that! <clears throat> Miss Adrian Andrews! I choose you, Pikachu! You are Mr. <laughs> Karina's killer. And yes, that was a Pokemon reference they made. What? You, you, okay, Mr. Wright, you've now broken two pairs of her glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to spend all these choice of words, I choose you. That's because I, I don't know who the murderer is, I'm just going to pick this person and it's, and it's hopefully her. That, that's what we already did, the uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 yeah. that's exactly what he's doing. Oh. How preposterous. You can't stick <laughs> any of that on me. I can't, can I? Would you care to test me? 
failed. Yes. Then, then what about this knife? The knife was used to stab the victim after he had already been strangled to death. It was sure used to throw suspicion onto Mr. Ungar, naturally. A knife covered in the defendant's fingerprints could only be taken from his room. <clears throat> the only one who had a dinner with him and knew which knife to take was you. How many, how many glasses does she have? Well, let's see! Uh, what about the button? It was found on Matt's... Akama. Akama. This button was removed from the victim's body after he had already died. Yeah, that, that's what he's, what Pippi said like two minutes ago. Yeah. The only people who could have done so were the person who found his body or the killer. However, if Mr. Ungard was the real killer... There is no way he would have put such incriminating evidence in his own Hakama! Unless he really wanted to get caught. Uh, oh, he was really stupid. Stop breaking my glasses! I can't <laughs> help it. The only person who could have put this button into Mr. Ungard's Hakama is the person who went to wake him up from his nap! Which is you yet again, Miss Andrews! I see. Uh, what about the empty guitar case? <laughs> <laughs> Even the judge is like, fun. <laughs> that is also another piece of oh, the evidence wait, that incriminates Miss Andrews. Right. It's all coming Game together off. now. That costume was used to hide the real killer's identity as they fled the crime scene. Now, who could have known that there was such a costume inside the guitar case? It could only have been the person who prepared the costume for the victim. That being... And that person is... You, Miss Adrian Andrews! Glasses break again? No, oh, no. not this time. No. no, I... Objection! At the risk of a lady's glasses again, but Miss Andrews' fingerprints were nowhere to be found on the guitar case. Mr. Wright, will be, the court will be sending you her, her uh, ocular bills uh, to your office. <laughs> yeah. Glasses are expensive, you know. And it was you who proved that she wasn't even wearing gloves at the time. The That's right! Hm. You're bullshitting us, Mr. Wright! That's because no. she did not intend on leaving any prints. Don't worry, Your Honor, I've got it all mapped out from here. If anyone had uh. found out that she had touched the case, they would have asked her why. So, to avoid leaving any prints, she used a towel or something else to open it. But, the glass of tomato juice is a different story. Remember that piece of evidence? Miss Andrews purposely left her fingerprints on the glass to show that, yes indeed, she was the classic day's discoverer of a dead body! That's right! What a classic, a classic indeed. Yeah. There we go! Yeah, ooh, yeah, that's, that's like five, five years now! Like, <laughs> all in a row, by the way. A photo of the killer as they exited the scene of the crime. No reasonable person on Earth could believe this Nickel Samurai's Mr. Guard unless that person's name is Wendy Oldbag. <laughs> he would be too much, he would be much too short for his own costume if it was him. Speaking of how tall people are, Miss Andrews, you're also kind of short in stature, are you not? Oh dear god, if he told this to Francisca in her younger years, he would get whipped senseless. Please stop. No. Well, how about it, Miss Andrews? Uh. Got her this time. I think. Dot 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 dot. dot. Miss Andrews? I... I refuse to testify. Wait, what? What was that? Th there's a law. Oh god, they're pulling this shit again. Yep. It says I can't be forced to testify about something. 
if it can incriminate me. Oh, come on, yeah, you're doing that, this that, again? That, that, that's actually a lot of good. That's yep, actually a lot. it is. Oh, no. It's gonna be like the fifth case all over again. Let's try oh, to so get now out. they bring in real life law. Well, well no, no, yeah. I, I actually, I, I actually do have, uh, when it happened in the fifth case of the last game, it was a different reason. And here, believe it or not, this is an actual real court law. Uh, the, the witness can refuse to testify if it does, if the, if the, if, the, if it does incriminate her. Testify. Even if they're actually the murderer? Yeah. What? Yes, Zach. Yes, Zach, you should write that also is a real life law. Ah, he's attorney when it respects real life court. Pleading the fifth is not something most people would... Wow. Pleading the fifth is something most people would not think to do on the spot. Actually, thinking back to yesterday in Mr. Rungard's room... Adrian Andrews. Mr. Miss Andrews. Yes? Ow. Think hard about what we just discussed. Understood? Uh, all right. That's it. That's when Francisca planted this idea into her head. So that's why she's been sounding like Francisca a lot lately. She must have told us not to testify if things look bad. Indeed, allow me, Jova. It's called the right to silence. The right to remain silent is a legal right recognized explicitly or by convention in many of the world's legal systems. The right covers a number of issues centered on the right of the accused or the defendant to refuse to comment or provide an answer when questioned, either prior or during legal proceedings. This can be the, the right to avoid self-incrimination or the right to remain silent when questioned. Basically, it's basically a little law to protect witnesses who, who don't want to testify when that particular information that they're being asked incriminates them in some way. Yep. Okay. Just like in Rise from the Ashes, booyah, we have an uh, education of actual law system court. What is so yeah. humorous, Mr. Edgeworth? We apologize that Ace Attorney isn't good at relaying this. <laughs> I'm sure you realize this as well, you Ah, they, 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 still, they still give us the basic the basic gist of it. True, they do. And if Ace oh, Attorney... I with this law, I mean with law in general. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, the law system occasionally gets better. They even bring up some real-life stuff also in Trials and Tribulations and in Dual Destinies and Apollo Justice. Well, you just say they get better through each game, so... Yep. Mm -hmm. Everything you have proven is <clears throat> circumstantial. Dual Destinies in general is a lot. It, 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 as a, it, Dual Destinies in general is actually much more tightly written in terms of the whole uh, court shit. How ironic, since that's during the dark age of the law, too. <laughs> Proof that Miss Andrews did in fact harbor a wish to murder Miss Corrida. Mr. Corrida. Hey, when did you know, become a woman? <laughs> uh, Miss Andrews, you. Did you want to kill Mr. Corrida? Did you even possess the knowledge how? I believe this may. I believe this may lead to me incriminating myself. So I will abstain, abstain. from answering. Um. But it's automatically Andrews. convenient. If you do that, it will be the same as admitting your guilt, don't you think? Huh, kinda. Maybe so. Or maybe not. There is nothing to prove it either way. Alright, fine. I'll cut you off to jail myself. Besides, <laughs> you don't even know what crime I would be guilty of due uh, to my silence. True. You're, uh, you're actually smirking no, while she's taking that, that defiant attitude again. She does have a point, though. But Mia, what should we do? Nothing. Somehow, we landed in the worst possible situation. And uh, I'm not going to help you. I <laughs> think we have reached a certain conclusion <laughs> at this point in time. Oh, no. Miss Adrian Andrews has refused to testify. I'm surprised she even knows the Fifth Amendment. And the defense is fair that she is the actual murderer has not been fully substantiated with solid definitive proof. So we need to go and get that. Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, actually, actually she uh, the killer... Oh the shoot, killer that's right, we only have one day. In the this situation, was there is only one thing this court can do. We either, uh, yes. we, either, we either win the trial today, or Maya gets killed. And that is to oh, declare shit. a recess. Re recess? I dun, request dun, that both dun, the prosecution dun, and the defense dun, look dun, further dun, into this matter. Dun, 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 Hold on, recess. we have a serious <laughs> moment. And at tomorrow's trial... T tomorrow? But this isn't a turnabout for tomorrow. 
We'll stay up all night if we have... Oh, no, wait, we can't. We don't have it tomorrow. <laughs> if we don't get a not guilty verdict today, then... And... Hold it! Please wait, Your Honor. But that's not necessary. I'm fighting against an actual real-life law now. The trial! Please continue the trial! Fuck what you, you, my wife is waiting for me. What are you sweating for? Hm. And he can't say Mr. anything, Mr. Right, right, I have a life, you know. Your client <laughs> is getting one more day to live, isn't he? Pat, that's not it. it this isn't about that. Uh. Edgeworth! I know you know who the real killer is! Because your sister is a blabbermouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please, uh, let the trial continue. Uh, Mr. Wright, I'm the judge here. I'm in fucking charge. If I don't get the verdict, then Maya... Uh, the fuck's hmm? Maya? But it's impossible to continue as long as the witness refuses to testify. Uh, so, if you want, any, so if you want anyone to blame, blame the dumb bimbo over there. Objection! It is not impossible for this trial to continue. Thank as you. I say it is. Andrew noticed, uh, Andrew noticed this Phoenix's, Phoenix's, you know, it's panic Andrew. and shit. What are you? It's true. Miss Andrews holds the right against self incrimination. However. If the topic of conversation were somehow something re unrelated to whatever she may be guilty of, then she has no right to withhold testimony. <clears throat> That's actually another role in the actual rulebook. Huh. Yes, that is very true, but... You know what's funny is that it's often the really big cases where they actually bring in the real-life laws. Like, believe it or not, in the first case of Trials and Tribulations, oh wait, no, the second case and the third case, actually, of Trials and Tribulations, is those big ones. The third one, of course, is so big because Phoenix actually sort of has to save the world in that one. But, later on that. Wait, what? Oh. Yes. yes. And? believe it or not, Tio, that's not the last- <laughs> And believe it or not, Tio, that's not the last time Phoenix has to save the world. They're the final case of Dual Destinies as well. But, uh, later on that. <clears throat> Before you speak, I want to state if that if you have a reason behind your actions, I would like you to testify to that effect. Oh boy. Testify? Yes, yes. it means testify. Testify, testify! Can I get an objection? Can I get an objection, everyone? No. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I would like you to request that the witness testify again as to what happened when she first discovered the witness's body. The victims? The victim's body? Maybe? Trouble? <laughs> the victims, yes. Whatever we find out... Witness. I mean, the, the, the victims. Uh, whatever we find out. Bye! <laughs> Your, your, your Honor, Your Honor, objection. The, the prosecution is clearly having a stroke. <laughs> 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 Allow me to refrain that. Um... Whatever we find and, out and should be able to flush out. Yeah, has blah, stopped blah, blah, working. <laughs> Please, we, we, we apologize for the inconvenience. Is he friend or foe? I just don't know. Um, Mia, foe, this isn't the Dr. Seuss know? book. No rhyming. Huh. The court acknowledges the prosecution's request. Miss Andrews, if you please. I need Here a rest. Goes. Oh, fuck, no, I'm rhyming. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the glass of juice. I didn't really pour it for myself. I was surprised when I walked into the room and saw it in that messy state. And Juan, he was sitting slumped over and tired looking in the corner. Yeah, the deep sleep, kinda. When I saw him sitting like that, I, the thought that he was dead didn't cross my mind. To be honest, I thought he had just fainted or something. So I went to pour him some juice. Yeah, one Corrida is fainted. When I realized that he was dead, that's when I knocked the flower vase over. Ass. Shut it. Pot. Water pot. So you poured that flower glass pot. juice for the Whatever. <laughs> Why didn't you say so in your earlier testimony? Oh wait, you forgot. No surprise there. Salt. <laughs> 
I didn't think I needed to include something so trivial. Phoenix, please be careful here. Right. If you can't find anything wrong with this testimony, ask me. I mean, the, the, the no. <laughs> Thank you, Mia. Edgeworth, what the heck is going on in that brain? Oh, yeah, her pretentious, I mean, her, um, uh, uh, never mind. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Luckily, this is your she... last one. Thank goodness, Mia will get better in trials and tribute. Well, so when it gets better in trials and tribulations, past, present, ah. What, she's not, she's not like that person at a turbo who would replace Zordon when was pretending to be deep by kept keeping asking questions oh, all the time as opposed to answering them. I sort of lost train of the thought there, but, uh, maybe? Obsession. Seriously, no. Of all the things you copy from, it's Oh, wait, oh, wait, never mind. Turbo. Wait, never mind. No, 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 no. She's not going to be like that. Before you go accusing people of crimes, go find yourself some evidence. Yeah. Now, what did you see next, witness? Are we at the game where I can give you a penalty for pressing the wrong Hold steps? it! No, Your Honor, that <laughs> was the last case. Oh. Yes, he was just sitting there with his head tilted forward, eyes closed. He really looked like he was sleeping. Check for his pulse! Is it just me or did that? Right there, sound a little odd. You are the stupidest witness I've ever seen, and I've seen Mo! <laughs> Your Honor, I think you're falling for the act. <laughs> Check his pulse, Yugi. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Do you want- yeah. so you honestly didn't think he was dead when you found him? No, must have been blood he was mostly dead. <laughs> no, there's a difference all. between there's a difference between mostly dead and all that. <laughs> Even though this is what you saw when you first saw it, I got everything I need. Yeah, I'm beating the crap out of Andrew Garfield. I mean, um, Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield and Chris Hemsworth. So this is my evidence. Huh? Um, that other guy. Doctor Doom, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, the other actor who played him. <laughs> What is the meaning of this? Oh yeah! Oh. Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? I'm being leaking again against, <laughs> uh, against the weak so. There is a knife sticking straight out of Mr. Karita's chest! You didn't see now. it! <laughs> I wear glasses. But you could have seen him, you- Anyone who saw this scene would have immediately thought that here was a dead man. My sake! You see, Your really Honor, she was only trying to. You see, Your At least Honor. She can tell when someone is fucking dead. Your That's Honor. Not... You see. Your I Honor, have... It, have you realized she was trying to fool you into thinking she was that dumb, whereas really she wasn't. She is fucking dumb. But <laughs> Your Honor, she just. She's. She's got your fooled still. Oh, whatever. And then non so nonchalantly go pour a drink. Your point is. She played you for a fiddle. Miss Andrews, your uh -huh. testimony just now, it was all one giant lie. <clears throat> and I have what? another pair of glasses lost. And your lie has proven <laughs> one thing very clearly. You're terrible that you lies. are the real killer. No, it's telling me that I should really get some contacts. That yeah. too. So it's six pairs right now. Mm -hmm. no justice, no Jova, for, for, for future reference, how many times do you think you're using that clip? <laughs> because <laughs> I, I think that may be the last you, I'm time. I'm sure we will see that a no! lot for a long amount of time. Got it! Poor <laughs> Paul No! no. Uh, mobile is free! Yay! Right! Anyway. Face. Well, so yeah, it's six, it, thank you, audience. Yeah. That was a preview that of was Ultimate Marvel vs. Ultimate... Cub. That was Ultimate that was Marvel vs. Capcom Marvel 3, paper. and another part just for all tucked under our wings, but we'll see what happens I'm... in the next part. Join us By next the way, time six... for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. I mean, um, Justice for All. Mm -hmm. By the way, six pairs and counting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we, we need, we need a, a glasses broken counter. We need a drinking game. Definitely. <laughs> We definitely need take a shot. shot. We'll have to find the price of glasses in America and see how much your Phoenix owes her in total. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy. What's the damage? We'll open the next part. We'll open the next part uh, with uh, whatever Shiroi finds. See everybody. Yep.